In this tutorial, we want to create a launcher together. It's going to fire a rocket towards a jet. First step is that launcher faces its target. So create a script called launcher. Now define a game object called rocket. This is going to rotate and look at the target. Now in update void with look at command, it can face the target. So write rocket.transform.lookat in parentheses the desired target, so we need to define a transform for target, called jet. Now write jet.position in parentheses. Give a script to launcher, rocket to rocket, and jet to jet transform. Now after pressing play, you will see that rocket looks at anywhere jet goes. Let's go for next step, that is calculating the distance. Define a float called distance. And we can detect rocket distance with jet with this command in update. Let's test. Look, we can see the distance between rocket and jet here. Now, what is its usage? With this, if the distance between jet and rocket become less than a certain limit, we can fire the rocket. So, come back in code and write in update if distance was less than or equal 40, then launcher fires, which I write this command in shoot void. Now, cause I want a shooting happens each one second, I use invoke repeating. And cancel invoke repeating in else, till launcher don't shoot again. Here we have a problem, the command is in update, and invoke repeating runs over and over. It ruins the gameplay. To make invoke repeating runs only once, define a boolean called can shoot. Now in distance if, write, if can shoot was false, invoke repeating executes. And quickly after it, can should becomes true. With this command, should void and invoke runs only once. And in distance else, write if can should was true, cancel the invoke. And false the can should boolean. Now in should void, write a print command to see the result better. Now when jet gets closer to launcher more than a certain limit, should void runs each one second. And you can see should command has printed twice, and two rockets should be fired. Let's go for produce and shoot the rocket. This is one of our rockets. I already put two particles in its subsets. There is a point here. That is if I move the rocket, particle moves with it and it's not interesting. To fix it, select particle and set simulation space on work. Now, as you can see, particle's movement is more natural and generally better. Let's go for produce and shooting the rocket. Create a new script called rocket and give it to rocket. First step is that rocket looks at target which is jet. So define a transform called target. And in update void, like before, look at the target with look at command. Now after looking at it, we should move towards the target, which I'll do it with move towards command. This was rocket scripts. It's done. Only it's producing left. So open launcher script. In shoot void, write instantiate command. Define a game object called R and equal it with instantiate command. First part is the producing prefab, which is rocket prefab. Second part is producing position and third part is the angle. Now we should give target to produce a rocket. So write R dot get component define a rocket script. Couple parentheses dot target equals jet. This way as the rocket produces, it finds the target and starts moving towards it. Let's go to Unity, convert rocket to prefab and remove it from scene, and give rocket prefab to launcher. Now if jet gets closer than a certain limit to launcher, the launcher fires two rockets towards it. That this firing position is not good, and also rocket speed is too low. So first, increase rocket's speed, then in launcher subsets, create an empty game object called rocket place, and put it on the position you want to fire the rockets from. And at last, in launcher script, define a transform called rocket place and set rocket place as rocket production position. At last, give rocket place to rocket place, and this is the result. The rockets produce as it gets close and they shoot towards it. Now, how they hit it and destroy it? Don't miss next tutorial. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.